Thank you, Connor. Good afternoon. My name is Karen Rios. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Lifesaver. We're a financial health company and marketplace based here in New York City. And uh, what we do is we are trying to solve an issue that really is kind of difficult today. Why is it that everyone in a, with a smartphone in this room can find a date and a meal, but we can't figure out what to do with our money? And that's what Lifesaver is trying to do. We're trying to ease people's money problems today by creating a centralized platform that intelligently matches individuals with financial products from credit unions and community banks. There's a demand for financial health in this country. Since we launched in December, we've seen a lot of growth, um, and that's because individuals lack the tools and the knowledge to how to get financially healthy. We believe that at the core of financial health is an access to financial products and providers. And let's talk about some of the problems. Though there's been a lot of innovation, there is friction across many verticals. Friction makes adoption and discovery difficult for everyone. Right now, individuals have to know what they're looking for, whether that's a banking product, a debt solution, and all of this presumes that they have the access and the means to use these products. The other main issue is that products don't reflect reality. 61% of Americans can't cover an emergency expense. So that latest crypto trading app doesn't really resonate with someone who's living in debt today. And there, these are a compounding of sort of the neglected customers, which per the FDIC in the United States exceeded 64 million. We believe as income inequality continues to go up, uh, so will these neglected customers. Right now, these are some of the problems many of you might be facing today. Financial institutions can't offer financial health, despite having the data to do so. Nearly 80% of community banks in this country have no customer experience. Very similar for credit unions. Over 60% of them have no customer experience programs. Now, many of these financial institutions are limited by legacy software, dependence on very expensive vendors who have very long contracts. Sorry about the sort of technical issues here. Um, and as many of you already know, there is a huge expense that many of you face. So financial institutions are spending nearly $17 billion on advertising and marketing. Eight, million of, eight billion of that is in the digital ad space. And they're very tied to bank core providers, um, which are basically four major players here in the country. And what Lifesaver intends to do is to bridge the gaps, making origination cheaper, making marketing smarter, and find, making engagement with customers, filling that expectation that is happening along much younger demographics. So we've created a solution centered on financial health. On a product by product basis for all products, we provide an intuitive gamified UI to con continue engagement with customers. Uh, we created a bank page within every product page so that all our banking partners have a presence in every user's pocket. And we've created a platform that has total access to, could we go back to that slide please? Uh, total open access to financial products from onboarding to comparison, social interaction, reviews. You can all find this on Lifesavers platform. What we're able to do is provide multi-engagement uh, for financial institutions, integrating financial literacy and education tools within every single product. And it becomes a seamless experience from discovery to onboarding. Our services are essentially monthly analytics, onboarding, on omni-channel engagement, and marketing automation. We also offer month-to-month -month memberships as well. We believe that by creating a centralized marketplace, we can reduce a lot of the frictions that we're seeing right now in the industry. What really made us excited about the open APIs and what they represent in the financial industry is that it's truly a fast track to innovation. It really allows us to sort of bring to market the solutions we've been working on in parallel. So it really sort of allows for an open uh, banking environment. And unfortunately, we're having some issues, but what it really does is it reduces origination costs for the financial institutions. Um, because of Oracle's APIs, it really makes adoption very flexible. Um, we use six of Oracle's APIs over two days to create this. So what this allowed us to do was really take a lot of those things that were in our development pipeline and bring it up to speed over two days. Uh, we only use six of the over 1,000 APIs that they have. 
So what we were able to do is take user spending categories, attach that to goals. Uh, we were able to sort of um, make a mock of our smart saving, which is run by a machine learning. And it allows us to identify places where users and individuals want to save and take action on that impulse rather than let them sit on it. And we believe this reduces not only friction, but really helps sort of financial institutions engage with these customers more and facilitates cross-selling and really helps engage customers in a way that we hope that bankers can go back to focusing on being bankers rather than having to compete and find ways to be media companies and tech companies. So if you want to join us and learn more about uh, the open banking environment, come by our booth and we'd love to give you a demo. Thank you.